surgery earlier so they would be 100% by the combine. That shows you what kind of character and how much he cared about his football team. Matt Spade, he sorely will be missed on this football field. Uh, but again, getting ready for the combine needs a couple of months to heal. The combine you can see on NFL Network. That's one of their number one shows, isn't it? It certainly is. So it's Joel Monroe set to kick it off for the Golden Gophers and L.A. Reed and Shannon Woods standing back, and we are underway from Tempe. It's Shannon Woods bringing it up the center of the field and brought down immediately. And now we will get our first look at Graham Harrell here in Tempe. Third down and 20. Harrell's again with plenty of time and complete very close to the first down marker. It's Bellotti who brings it in, but I believe he's about to go for it. Oh, I don't think they made it. Harrell's tried to go off the left side, and I don't know. It's going to depend on the spot, but it didn't look good, Coach. It didn't look good from here, but we're so far away, I'm not sure who's down there. <laughs> Van de Steeg and Davis were in on the start onto the field as they go with a quick snap. Little play action for Cupido. Fires across the middle. It's Simmons, the tight end, and he's got plenty of yardage, enough for a first down pickup of 13 yards on the play. Wide out. They're going to move the tight end over. They like to run toward the motion when they do that. Yes, they do it right here. This is Penix, left tackle. And he gets up to the 25-yard line. He'll be about three. And Texas Tech, the uh, Red Raiders turn things over on downs. Cupido to the air. Gets it out to Penix. He's got some space. Great he's going to be shy of the first down as he's brought down at the 24 yard. Do this three or four times during the ball game. And they've converted 64% of the time during the regular season out in the flat. He's got it. It's his tight end. Simmons. He's up the sideline inside the five yard line down at the two. Pick up a 22 yard for the Gophers. They're very good down inside in the goal-to-go -goal situation. That offensive line does a great job of blocking. Play action. It's Simmons. Touchdown. So the backup tight end comes in. They had Spate, this All-American John Mackey Award candidate, who was not able to play in his backup, comes in and catches the touchdown. First. So Joel Monroe on for the PAT, which has been an issue for the Gophers. And he puts it through the uprights just like that. Yeah, here they go. No huddle. Again out of the shotgun. It's Harrell again in time. No pressure whatsoever. Right. He's picked off. It's intercepted on the play. Steve Moore. It's Cheryl. Or run play action passes from him. He'll send Simmons in motion to the ground game. It's Penix still on his feet inside the 20-yard line before he's brought down by Chris Hutton at the 12-yard line for Cupido. They stay on the ground. It's Penix once again. He should have stayed with the, uh, the zone blocking punch. Penalty, they'll move it up to the two-yard line for the Golden Gophers. Already up by seven, looking to add more. Cupido back to the ground. Penix working his way in. He gets in for the touchdown. Just an old power play. They take a lot of pride in that here at Minnesota. And the extra point is good by Joel Monroe. Rich Eisen going to be calling the play-by-play -play for that. Harrells fumbles the snap. Fires complete. What great poise. Great poise by that young man. Dropped the ball, picked it up. Good. Just over four minutes to go here in the opening quarter of the 18th annual Inside Bowl. Harrells out to Fulani. Up the 40. Oh. Crossing the 30. Gotta inside the 30-yard line. He got a devastating block. Raiders. He's audible into the coverage he sees. Harrells again hands it off underneath. That's Woods who gets the first down before he is for Harrells. Working from the 17. It's Milani 
up the sideline, about two yards shy of the first down marker. It's Dion. He can get on the field as a wide receiver, and he accepted that that challenge. Harrells with some time. Now he's brought down. He fumbles. He fumbles on the play. Willie Vandersteek forces the fumble, and the Golden Gophers come up with it. He was rushing on Glenn January, number 69. Involved. He picked up seven on that carry, and now they have a second and three. This time, Pinnock's working right side. Cuts it back. He's got room. Still on his feet as he stumbles across the 40-yard line. A pickup of 22. And Amir Pinnock is following in the footsteps of the likes of Lawrence Maroney. This is Cupido. Beautiful pass out in the flat to Eric Decker, who makes the grab. And another first down. For and Coach, um, what do you think the chances of that happening are? <laughs> I don't think so. Well done. This is Cupido, and it's Simmons on cue, making a big grab inside the 15-yard line for another. He's checking, playing an audible. They go to Thomas this time, right side, spinning his way down to the five-yard line. He audible because he saw the line. First and goal for the Golden Gophers. We open the second. They go underneath. It's Valentine. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown. Justin Valentine, the junior from Columbus, Ohio. That's his only carry this year that I have recorded. He carried the ball 23 times last year. He won. Nothing leave. So he has carried the ball this year. Oh, he had a couple carries. Yeah. I didn't have that. God, He's a short stack, averaging over 440 yards. And right now, Minnesota leading in that category. See, they're catching the ball and swarming extremely well. And, uh, but they're still giving that. Third and nine now. Harrell's out of the shotgun. Working from the 49. Fires. And Robert Johnson cannot pull it in. Kevin Mannion in. Never helped me that much. <laughs> Cupido checking off on first and ten. To the ground. Penix again. Breaks a tackle. Big hole. He's off to the races down the right sideline as he gets inside the 30-yard line before Chris Parker brings him down. Up. They don't fumble very often. Penix has gone over 100 yards in this game. They go the end around to Logan Payne. He breaks a tackle. Still on his feet as he crosses the 20-yard line. He broke the tackle. Yeah, no question. Got one team coach. One of the keys that you said was very important for Minnesota. Well, that's what Glenn told me, so I was just repeating him. Oh, he's going to score with it. Yes, he is. Into the house for the touchdown. Ernie Wheelwright, the junior from Columbus, Ohio, gets the touchdown. Chris. Once again, it's Joel Monroe coming on to tack on the PAT between the uprights and good. And wow, 28. Feels comfortable there. Carroll again. This time it's Falani cutting it back. Fighting his way up near the 45-yard line, very close to the first down marker. Duran Coop. I, I did the best possible job I could do, and sometimes I didn't think I did a good enough job. This is Woods bringing it back, crossing the 50 as he gets a first down. Knocked out of bounds. It's a real good job with him. Second and 11 as they lose a yard on the play. Harrell again with plenty of time thanks to that three-man rush. And he slips it right through the hands of Mike Sherrill, who nearly oh had a second hitter down. Texas Tech still looking for their first touchdown in this game. Woods. Good run. Through nice the run. Middle, cuts it outside. He's got another first down as he's knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. A great Steve points up on the board very quickly. Carroll out of the shotgun, and that's Wood for the touchdown. Well, it's taken him a while to get going, but I'll tell you, once these guys get going, when you study, when you study them on film, they can start, guy. <laughs> no, no, sir. <laughs> Trulica with the extra point. Texas Tech on the board. 
A one yard just across the 30 yard line. Cupido rolls, fires, wide got open. a man wide open, and it's Simmons once again. A huge gain as he's brought down at the 30, 38. The award winner. Here's Cupido back to the ground. Penix still on his feet, dancing, and he's got another first down. You see that little shoulder shake that he gives? That was really talent, but the scheme takes advantage of their talents. Yeah, it's like they talk about the Denver Bronco running backs. It's the system. Penix right side again with some space. Plowing his way inside the 10-yard line. Very, very close to another. Mike Gutadoria did it for me at the Rams as well. High formation, double tight end set. They'll send pain in motion again. Penix left side inside the five-yard line down to the three before he's brought down by Brock Stratton. Minnesota is doing a great job of controlling the line. I was real, I was more, I was so excited to see him. I haven't seen him in a while. Back to the rolling, throwing it back the other way. Caught for a touchdown. Oh, you talk about <laughs> it. Logan your way. Payne calls it in. And that was a beautiful pass. He wasn't necessary. Florida catches the touchdown and the PA team between the uprights and good. So here at the future of Golden Gophers football. This is only the third third down they've had to convert. Great job. And they do convert it. And it is Simmons once again on June, his sixth reception of the night, crossing the 40 coach. And that was against the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Another game in which Spade missed. This is Pennix left side, crossing the 50, spinning his way to about four yards shy of the first down. Tony Backer with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Play action for Cupido with plenty of time. They complete on the near side to Ernie Wheelwright, and they've got yet another. So fourth and four, they will go for it. Inside the 30-yard line, Cupido with some play action, rolling, oh going back the other way, and he's got Simmons again. He's got the first down, and he wants more inside the five-yard line before he's brought down. That, again, that play, all of which are in the NFL, and Amir Penix gets the handoff again. This time, he's stuffed by Joe Garcia. That was a great job by Keith Dawson, number 90. For the Golden Gophers. PATs and field goals. The kick is up and he sneaks it inside the right upright to add three more to the board. Make it 30. The connection is our passion to bring the two together. What, what are some of those synergies? If you just look at technology today in the universities and how they're using computers to make the students smarter and better. And obviously we like to be involved in that on the student side and being associated with athletics as well. You had a lot of fans walking around here. That's Woods, right side. And he'll pick up six Oops, yards yes, on yes. the play. But, you know, it used to be known as the old copper ball. Third and one. Harrell with some play action and plenty of time. Pump fake deep. He's got a man. Touchdown. Bellotti. They had him double covered, too. They rolled the coverage that side. and had him. The safety has to make that play. But a beautiful throw. Black looking toward the receiver. The extra point is through and good. So now it's three receivers split out for Cupido on a third and down and ten. Pressure gets him pressure and down he goes. That is deep fake. 51 did a great job for this offense. It's designed to do that. They just haven't done it tonight. They lead the nation in quick scores. Again, a quick pass. This time complete to L.A. Reed. And he is, works his way into uh, Golden Gophers territory. He's a tough guy, you know, not a leading receiver, but a very good receiver for them. Again, they go to the ground game. It's Woods close to Moore's first down yard. It's a fumble at the end of the play, but they say he is down. He's, He's up underneath center time. as a quarterback, too, rather than a shotgun quarterback. And back to the ground. Great job. Woods will get the first down. He bangs his way ahead to the 20-yard line. Great job by the lead back, David Schaefer, number 29. They were going to cover and make him hold the ball and get the pressure by forcing him to hold the ball. And here they do it once again. And that time it's complete. That's Walker who makes the grab. It looks like it's enough for the first down, and it is. That was a deep comeback. Took a lot of time. 
defense, taking the ball away. So Harrell will march up to the line of scrimmage. The person is in shotgun formation. Play action, going to the end zone. Touchdown, Robert Johnson. And it's getting a little tighter, Coach. Little, little play action. For Alex Trulika. Between the uprights, and he sneaks it in the uh, right inside that left upright to make it 10 for Jupiter. Looking deep down the side. He got it. And what a catch! Beautiful <laughs> catch by Eric Decker. Holy macho. These guys, it's amazing. Four. Unbalanced line to the right. They pitch, picks. Yeah. Broken play. Yeah, Great job. All over it. Yeah, they and broke it. Tillman. Yeah. They had a mental mistake on that play, believe it. They turned the defender loose. Third and seven for the Golden Gophers. Cupido tries to dump it off. He was feeling some pressure as the, the white jerseys got in beyond the line of scrimmage. They're liable to go deep. He's, he's checking. He recognizes it. Cupido, three-step drop. Pump got fake, and down he goes. It's Daniel Charbonnet. He comes up with the sack. The depth when it comes to breaking down wide as well as football. Give him time. Harrell, nice throw. Flat. Nice throw. He is impressive to me. There's no effort. Dean hoping to strike quickly. They're bringing five again. Harrell across the center. He's got a man. And it's Eric Morris who hauls it in. Play action, Harrell again, across the middle. Johnson complete inside the 15 for another first down for the Red Raiders. This time they keep things to uh, roll. Harrell with time. Again, it's Johnson spinning, still on his feet, reaches across. Is that like a touchdown? It looked like it, unless they say his knee hit. It looked like to me from here, but I am. Johnson has had a terrific night. Six receptions. That's not. And it is a touchdown. So Graham Harrell we takes it in. Game. We got a football game. Don't count these kids out. We told you about their quick strike ability. And now they've got it within 11. Trelika on for the extra point. Through the uprights. And we got a 10-point ball game, go Huge play for the Red Raiders. Cupido looking for Wheel Wright, and he hauls it in. Out of bounds. Oh, they say he's out of bounds. See, he got him in mat, a man cover. Having been in that situation a few times, you call it puckering. <laughs> Kusick <laughs> puts a leg into it. Amendola avoids the first wave. Cuts oh. it the center of the field. Crossing the 40-yard line, and the Red Raiders clearly have the momentum. Two minutes, and they've got 5.34 to go. Harrell will shuffle underneath. It's Woods with a big hole, crossing the 50. He's got a first down as he's brought down at the 42-yard line. Covering with eight. Harrell with plenty of time. Near side. And it's caught by number 12, Eric Morris. Looks like they're going to come with a multiple rush this time. Yeah, they're bringing four people. Rather, It's Johnson again on that little comeback as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. It's with three points and come back and get the seven. But I don't know with 245 you can afford to do that. Again, they hand off underneath. This time, it's a touchdown by Woods. Shannon Woods, the sophomore from McKinney, Texas, goes into the end zone, and we've got ourselves a four-point game. The right? longest streak in the history of the NCAAs, and he puts it right through to extend that. So it's 166. Year. Third down and eight for Cupido. Play action. They get him. They rush him. And they sack him. 
What a play by they, Paul Williams. They were trying to make it out the backside. Carroll out of his own end zone. Pumping with time. He's got a man. It's Kalani who avoids it. Oh, it's Johnson. Robert Johnson who makes the grab. He, he is strong. First down. Gets out of bounds. Stops the clock at 44. Harrell going the other side of the field. Beautiful pass. What a touch. He laid that over the defender as about as well. Pressure on him. I have to go to some man coverage. It looks like they're going to play uh, with a real loose zone. They're blocking it. He ran a middle screen that time. Falani gets up to the 50-yard line. A, a, a little more pressure to roll up on the receivers so they can't catch those short ones. Harrell with it. plenty of time. Inbound. And it's complete on the near side to Robert Johnson. His career long is 49 yards. Snap is good. Kick it is up. Good. It's on the way. Good. We're tied at 38. Oh. What did? What's that? Oh, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Boy, it's done. So Minnesota begins complete, and that's Logan Payne who is up near first down yardage. Cupido with some time for the end zone, nearly picked off. So now you make a decision: Do you go? This from 40. This one is from 32. Kick is up and it's between the uprights and good. So Minnesota and the first overtime, Texas Tech coming back from a 38-7 deficit. This is Joel Falani, the native of Phoenix, coming home. <laughs> Harrell out of the shotgun. Fakes the underneath stuff. Back to Falani. Works his way, rolls his way inside the 10-yard line. This Tech has never led in this ball game. Harrells. Again, they hand up. Sports! Touchdown! Oh, my God. So the Red Raiders have done it! They erase a 31-point deficit. And stage the largest comeback in the history of bowl games. Unbelievable. The greatest comeback in the history of bowl games. Mike Leach's team erases a 31-point deficit in the second half and win it in overtime.